President Tsai Ing-wen delivered her last New Year's address as president on Monday. In her speech, she touted her administration's achievements over the past eight years. Tsai stressed that Taiwan had become more internationalized during her tenure. She urged the public to vote wisely in the upcoming election to choose a candidate who can make Taiwan even better. For her last time as president, President Tsai Ing-wen handed out spring couplets on New Year's Day, drawing long lines at the presidential office building. In her New Year's address, Tsai bid farewell to the nation. Over these past eight years, Taiwan has changed. The main difference is that Taiwan is no longer forgotten by the world. If you were to ask me what the key word for these past eight years has been, I would say it is the world. And what is the key word for the world? It absolutely includes Taiwan. Whether you are my supporter or my detractor, I would like to thank every Taiwanese person for getting us where we are today, for persevering through thick and thin, and in spite of all the ups and downs we've encountered along the way. With just 12 days before Election Day, President Tsai urged the public to use their vote to make Taiwan better. No matter your political affiliation or whether you're in the ROC camp or the Taiwan camp, this is our country. I sincerely hope we can believe in ourselves, in democracy and in Taiwan to make decisions that make Taiwan better. We must make the best choice for Taiwan within this world. Everyone knows who I'm supporting, and he's standing here today. Vice President Lai Qingde has been part of it all, and he has experienced it all. I am very confident in him. Tsai addressed criticism from opposition politicians who have accused the DPP of corruption. A Japanese scholar, Ogasawara Yoshiyuki, noted that out of all of Taiwan's governments, the Tsai administration has been the only one to not have any cases of corruption among high-level officials. Taiwan has also attained its best score on the Corruption Perception Index since our first democratic election 27 years ago. Tsai also defended her administration's policies on the death penalty and nuclear power. Taiwan, oh, Taiwan has not abolished the death penalty yet. An interpretation of the Constitution is ongoing to determine how to handle prisoners on death row. Let's remember that whoever becomes president next, that president must not act beyond the scope of the law, because we are a country governed by the rule of law. Opposition parties have called for the development of nuclear power, but they have yet to mention where the new nuclear power plants would be built or how the waste would be disposed of. So at this point in time, Taiwanese society shouldn't get involved in disputes revolving around nuclear power, but strive forward on solutions that do not involve nuclear power. In her last New Year's address as president, Tsai defended her government's moves on controversial issues, emphasizing that Taiwan was on the right path.